22nd November, and 14 p.m. Supreme Court of Judicator. Wasn't it 2 p.m. that they wanted to send the thing off? So maybe we'll still make it. Oh yeah, surprise. Well, I understand you are the judicial assistant to the defense, but why isn't this... Why this sudden ingress into my courtroom? Ha, huh, judicial assistant and a woman knows. Ouchie, you're pissing me off. The rules state that females are not permitted into this court of law other than to testify. Yes, I fully understand. I ask only for five minutes of time. I have some vital evidence that I must hand over to the defense. Ha! Huh, you're too late, little girl. This trial has already been concluded. Five minutes. I will not allow a moment more. But, Your Excellency, I am most grateful. Um, who exactly are you? I'm sorry, there is no time. Please simply accept this for now. What is it? A report about something written in English. It's Giselle Brett's research. Giselle Brett's research. The English woman's. After the trial resumed earlier, I hurried back to the university. I went to Dr. Wilson's laboratory in the medical facility and borrowed this paper. Oh yes, that's right. Miss Brett was studying under the professor, wasn't she? So does this research, whatever it is, have something to do with the case? Did she make the poison? I'm afraid I don't know. I haven't been able to listen to the proceedings of the trial myself. Oh, no, of course not. Because she was off getting this information. Slash also wasn't allowed in the courtroom. Two things. Special characteristics of... Curer and its effects on human subjects. Curer, what's that? I've never heard that word before. Time's up. The prosecution demands the immediate removal of this female trespasser from the courtroom. There was still a little time for me to read it in detail, but I've summarized what I could on a note just inside the cover. If you think it could be valuable, please cast your eyes over it. This is wonderful, thank you. Just our report has been entered into the court record. Goodbye then, and good luck. Can I do that now? Court record. A poison made from a bark of certain trees in the jungle. Huh. Poison, you say? Poison. The hunter of this region have used it since ancient times to incapacitate their prey. In some paralysis of the entire body and subsequent deaths, subsequent death even in, mi in minute doses. Root of entry. The above mentioned effects occur when the poison enters the body through a wound, such as that inflicted by a blowpipe dart. Due to its inability to render the human body, render due to its ability to render the human body paralytic, it's believed that the toxin could have have applications as an anesthetic. However, a solution for the respiratory arrest caused as a result of the full body paralysis must be found first, or patients would die of suffocation. Ooh, okay. So that's the poison she used. You can't detain the English case any longer. Uh, examine. Okay, so it's just the reading of it. I can't do anything more with it yet. We have long enough counsel, we can't detain our English case any longer. I asked the prosecution and the defense. Now one last time. Does either side have any further evidence to present to the court? I presume not, but... The prosecution has made its case convincingly enough already. Nothing more to add, Your Excellency. Yanosuke, we're out of options here. This really is our very last chance. Yes, I know. 
Your Excellency, the defense does have new evidence. Hmm. That look. That unyielding stare of a true Japanese warrior. Well, Miss Brett? Yes, Your Excellency? If you wouldn't mind, perhaps you'd grace us with your presence a little longer. It's a delightful invitation, but I'm afraid... It's not so very long until tea time. I have to polite. Forgive me, Merce Brett. It seems I wasn't clear. I realize it was phrased as a question. However, you don't have a choice. I must ask you to treat this as a, eat that as an order. It's court. You can't just choose to leave <laughs> as you want. As I've said it many times before, but the Japanese language makes no sense. My apologies, dear lady. So, counsel. What is this new evidence that demands the court's attention? And this. Yes! This. Miss Jezile Jezile Barrett. We understand they were studying under Dr. Wilson at UMA University, doing research. Research by sheer coincidence, perhaps, into a deadly poison? What? Poison? Where are you going with this council? A toxin known as Curare, Your Excellency. Even the slightest amount of this poison, deadly poison entering the body, leads to instant death. What? What complete and utter nonsense? Cure, cure, you say? I've never heard of it. You wouldn't have, wouldn't have done. Some of the translations here are kind of feeling off on for me. What do you mean? I mean that you wouldn't have heard of cure before, or for one very simple reason. It doesn't exist in our country. It doesn't exist. Correct, which means, no matter what tests the police can do for toxins, they'd never identify cure -air. Why? Because there is no test available here to identify the presence of a highly dead of this highly deadly poison. What? I'm not doing a lot. Order, order, order. Council does the deadly poison truly exist? According to this report offered by, by the visiting research student from England, Cure has long been used in the tribes people of South America as a poison to ace their arrows. It seems that it's reasonably well known among European doctors and scientists to, to lace their arrows. The reports state that it's produced from the extract of a tree that grows deep in the Amazonian jungle. And it was first brought to Europe at the turn of the century by explorers. He claims that animal shopping errors laced with cure air suffer instant death. Doesn't that about sum it up, Miss Brett? Objection! Trumpery. These aspirations are utter trumpery. To start with, if the victim had been administered some of this so-called deadly poison, he wouldn't it'd have been squirming, writhing in pain, and all the other diners would have surely noticed. Hmm, that's true. What do you say to that, Inspector? Obviously, I would have noticed a disturbance like that. Hmm, I don't remember anything like that either. I didn't notice the professor being in any kind of pain. According to this, however, it's the other way around. What do you mean, the other way around? The very fact that the victim didn't show any visible signs of distress is evidence that cure error was used. Explain yourself, counsel. The moment the toxin enters a person's system, it causes instant paralysis. In other words, afflicted did victims lose all strength and are completely unable to move. Even if they were to in total agony, there would be no visible signs of pain at all. 
How terrible. Obviously, if a man lost all strength in his muscles, he'd collapse on the floor. But with a chair under him for support, as Dr. Wilson did, the effects would could go largely unnoticed. But I don't follow, Kazuma. That's just paralysis. I thought the poison caused instant death. The full explanation is extremely unpleasant. The poison causes immediate paralysis, as I said, leaving the victim unable to move. But the a after a short time, the paralysis is so severe it causes the muscles that control respiration to fail. Respiration. Breathing. In other words, the actual cause of death is suffocation. And all the while, the victim is conscious and aware, just unable to move. Oof, that sounds nasty. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. That's hideous. To the observer, it would look almost like the victim was slipping peacefully into an endless sleep. But for the victim himself, his final moments would be a living hell. That is the true nature of this deadly cure air poison. Just silence. And you're suggesting that this bottle, Council, actually contains this terrifying poison? Objection! This this is all very convenient, isn't it? A hit hero unknown poison for which there is no means of testing. What a happy tale for the defense. Ahem, if I may. All these facts you think are so clever. You... It is you who must be taught. Yeah, you... uh, of course. How'd she get fucking. Can you treat her as a hostile witness? <laughs> She's telling prosecution to shut up. Dear lady. So, this is how you Japanese behave, is it? What? You steal another, there's honest hard work, and then announce the results as if you discovered them. I'm appalled. What a loathsome act. Well, Miss Brett, the feeling is mutual. Whatever do you mean? Capitalizing on the unfortunate circumstances of an innocent man to frame him for a heinous crime. That really is a loathsome act. Wouldn't you agree? Enough of this. I, for one, refuse to accept it. The idea of some poison that doesn't even exist in the great empire of Japan is... is breaking the rules. What do you mean, breaking the rules? <laughs> like, a criminal's gonna care about what's in Japan versus what's not. What's so funny, Miss Brett? <laughs> well, I can read that, so, oh, excuse me, Her Excellency. Though she says it in English. Yes, Miss Brett? May I borrow that bottle for a moment, please? Well... Yes, I don't see um why not. I'm guessing she's gonna drink from it. Don't get too big for your boots, you insignificant little island boys. Oof. <laughs> Sorry? To an English woman such as myself, this whole affair is a farcical comedy. Your little police games and this foolish court romantics is laughable, really. But I'm getting bored of it all now. It's time for the games to end. Cheers. It wasn't in the bottle, it was on the glass. It's not that hard. Wait, what are you doing? 
actually, the other part of it is it also said it needed to be inflicted through a wound. Would ingesting it orally even work? Hmm. No sparkle left at all. How appropriate for this shabby affair. Vianosuke? Ah, oh, I forgot about the flashing white. I don't like that part of this game. <laughs> Goodness, whatever is the matter, you all look quite stunned. So, no cure. The bottle was clean, is that what you're saying? You look quite incredulous. Inscrutulous. Is it? Incred incredulous, little boy? But of course, that is the simple truth. Thank you for presenting the findings of my research so concisely here in this grand venue, most kind. Thank you, waiter. Now then, your excellency? Uh, um, yes, Miss Brett? I should like to be excused now, please. I think you've gotten more than enough of my time for the first sense of friendship between our countries. Uh, something because I'm thinking it's in the glass there that she took with her is what I'm actually thinking I think I'm going to give most of my time for the fun some of my time for the further in it, yeah, further ends of our friendship between our countries. Ah, uh, yes, dear Lily, we are most gratified with all the assistance you have given. Yeah, not going so well, Ryanusuke. This doesn't make any sense. There had to have been poison in that bottle. How? How did she? How did she swallow a whole glass and live to tell the tale? I don't understand it. Well, I suppose if nothing else, this little far eastern Sharon will make for an interesting conversation at the next party I attend in London. There has to have been poison in the bottle. Doesn't there? But there can't have been, because otherwise she would have been keeled over dead. Come on, Rina. Okay, we have all the clues now. That bottle of water. I think it paints no poison. As I thought, there is no poison in that bottle. What? What? Rina. Okay. Isn't it obvious if there was poison in there, she'd be dead by now? Sometimes your unadulterated naivety really astounds me. But sometimes it is in need of a good staining until it's as dark as your uniform arm in the ways of the world. Oh, is that what this color is supposed to represent? That was a guileless ending of a promising line of inquiry council for which you were we, we penalized. Ugh, this whole trial is poisoned. There has to have been poison in that bottle, though, from there, but there can have been. Otherwise, we have all the clues now. That bottle of water. Is that contains. I guess it contains poison is the right answer, then. The culprit did put Kirar poison into Dr. Wilson's carbonated water. The defense refuses to change its position. You're s <gasps> Oh! That's how! It needs a wound! Attention! And he had surgery on his mouth! So he would have had an open wound from the surgery, even if it had been stitched up. Ah, oh, I got it. I got it. My brain is working. <laughs> There's no way that ant bottle could contain poison. I mean, we just saw Miss Bright drinking the water from it. That's right, which rather complicates your arguments, I think. 
and I believe that compli complication can be explained. How? Exactly. I need to think this through of all the things that don't quite up add here, one by one. I'm sure the answer is in the evidence we have in the courtroom somewhere. It has to be. It's in the fucking description of the thing. Very well, the defense truly intends to assert this claim. Then I must ask you to support the assertion with evidence. What explains how the witness was able to consume the supposedly poisoned water unscathed? Yes! The answer to this riddle is right here in Ms. Blake's own research. That's not a valid explanation. No? After all. We don't speak English. That report is utter gibberish. This impudent young scoundrel is trying to rear to kill the court, your excellency. Not trying to ridicule anyone. Honest, I'm just reading Sisato's notes. I concur. This report is too extensive to be considered in its entirety by the court. You will direct us to the pertinent section, counsel. Which section of this report reveals the answer to this riddle? Well, let me look at synopsis. Uh, in the paralysis of when dying, the above mentioned effect occurs when the poison enters the body through a wound. So, special characteristics would probably do the. Yeah, it would be under that. Special characteristics. Glad I'm allowed to just review that. <laughs> We've been hearing a lot about how this cure our poison. And it's left me curious about something. Oh, counsel? Well, it sounds as though the indigenous hunters have been using this poison for years and years. To lace the heads of arrows as they shoot at whatever prey they're hunting. So we've been led to believe, yes. And the point of hunting is to catch prey to eat. Get to the point, please. But if they were to use these laced arrows... Doesn't that mean there would have been traces of poison left in the prey the hunters were going to eat? Yes, good point. So surely the hunters wouldn't want to eat their prey, would they? Because they've been eating poison. Good gracious, Council. No, that would be badness. But I actually found the answer to that conundrum. Research paper. In this research paper here, under special characteristics, it says this. The poison starts to work after entering the body through a wound. Through a wound, you say? I see, that makes sense. Yes, the mention of that particular detail seems a little strange to me, though. But it all makes sense when you interpret what's written like... What's written like this? When Kira enters the body through an open wound, it has terrifying poisonous effects. However... When it enters the body through via the mouth, it has no poisonous effects whatsoever. What? Miss Brett? You authored this research. You know cure our special characteristics. And you knew that you could make a spectacle of drinking that water without any danger to yourself. You meddling little moved, Red Skelly. The bird moved. What the fuck? You have a swan on your head? Well, Rhinoskate, it turned out you're an even better lawyer than I thought you'd be. Really? Me? Hello? All, all this poison talk is fascinating, I'm sure. But I feel to see how it's possible. So, the ill-bred little puppy has a new toy to play with, some facts he read in a book. But I'm afraid no one's doesn't suit you, little boy. It only makes you look silly. What are you trying to say? Your schoolboy slot object has a fatal flaw. Schoolboyish. Flaw? As even your brain has managed to deduce, cure are safe to ingest. It seems likely that its effects are neutralized by the acidic nature of gastric 
Succus. I'm guessing Jesus to some degree. Oh, yes, well, of course. Gaster trick suckers, what are they? So if this lethal poison is completely harmless when drunk, the professor wouldn't have died when he swallowed it, would he? Ah, uh, nope, nope, he had mouth surgery. He had that, that's right. Good gracious. Nope. Surgery on mouth leaves a wound. That's basic science. Science that even schoolboys should be able to understand, no? No, I have evidence. I have evidence to refute this. <laughs> order, order in the court. The logic holds if the lady and the professor drank the same poison, they would have been affected in the same way. Are you trying to suggest? Yes, this carol poison is completely irrelevant to the case on trial. That's right. Surely even a cockroach like you can understand something as simple as that. What is this swelling up inside me? Are you actually going to say objection? I've never felt like this before. It's all... S it's a sort of conviction to break down all the discrepancies. It's so intense, almost rage-like. And more than anything else, it's an animalistic desire to take down my prey. Objection! He did the thing! <laughs> I don't think so, Miss Jezile Brett. How dare you use that tone with me? You know very well that there is no fatal flaw here. You know exactly why, even though both you and the victim swallowed the same poison. You are alive, but Dr. Wilson is dead. Counsel, I'm sure I don't need to remind you, you must provide compelling evidence. As we know that his poison is completely harmless when ingested, why would Dr. Wilson have been killed by the curer? It is not the business card, the medical herb. Take that! As Mr. Sprit so readily pointed out, she drank the same water as the professor. However, there was a fundamental and fatal difference between the two diners. A fatal difference? The toxic effects of cure are only are felt when the poison enters the body through an open wound. So, for a healthy person with no injuries, drinking it is completely harmless. But, what if there was a wound inside the mouth of the person drinking the poisoned water? Inside? Yes, like the wound you might have if you had just been to the dentist and had a tooth extracted, for example. Ah, ah. <laughs> And Spirit, you've acknowledged many times in your testimony already that you were well aware of Dr. Wilson's dental appointment that day. Uh-huh. So that's it. You used the knowledge to orchestrate this. Oh, she's... she's... she's snapping. <laughs> she... okay, she's also laughing, but she's snapped. I don't like to repeat myself, but honestly, I can't resist. These childish courtroom games and your half-baked arguments are all so puerile. What? What do you mean? Don't worry, little schoolboy. You'll find out soon enough. You see, when you leave vital evidence lying around, you never know what might happen to it. No. I mean, it could just slip. Oh dear, how careless of me. I'm afraid some crucial evidence may have just been tragically destroyed. I mean, they couldn't test for it anyway, so how is it that... And Supreme Court, what a terrible blunder. Officer, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Collect up as much water from that broken bottle as possible at once. You're wasting your time. This delightful carpet under my feet was a gift from the British Empire. 
I assure you it will soak up the water beautifully. You have neither the technology nor the presence of mind to recover it. We didn't know how to test for it anyway, so what does it fucking matter? <laughs> she openly destroyed evidence in court. She should be prosecuted for that alone. <gasps> how could you? You you won't get away with this. You can't thump the bench and shout as much as you like, little boy. I'm afraid we'll never know now, will we, if there was poison in that bottle or not. You... And let us not forget. We still have some very compelling evidence left intact. Isn't that right, counsel for the prosecution? Oh, of course, of course. You are literally... Ugh. I feel like it's fairly obvious she's the murderer now and you're still sucking her toes. And I say toes because he's fucking on the floor groveling. Oh, of course, of course. You were referring to this photographic print, I presume, um, dear lady. That's right. And really, looking at this photograph, it's as clear as day, isn't it? The poor professor was sitting on, with his back to me. So, of course, the only person who could have shot him from the front is the Objection. little school boy. No, you killed the victim that day, using Cure. And then, in order to frame Ryunosuke in Naruhoto for the crime, you waited until he picked up the pistol you arranged for him to find on the floor, before you shot the professor dead body dead body in the chest with your own hidden gun. Then, in the confusion that followed, all you had to do was turn the, turn the dead professor and his chair around. You see, you had every opportunity to commit this crime. What a wonderful imagination you have, young man. A hidden gun, you say? And I shot the professor's dead body, did I? Well, I'm terribly sorry, but you don't have a shred of evidence. Exactly. And as you have nothing to support your wild claims, the prosecution's stance remains unchanged. She broke the bottle in open court. Obviously trying to cover up shit. <laughs> and you're still being a dick. Ouchie. Oh, the victor jo victim, John H. Wilson, was killed by gunshot to the chest. Delivered in cold bud blood by the accused, Marino Skandaroto. This is unbelievable. How can this be happening? We had her, but now... Is she really gonna get away with it? The way she destroyed that evidence was uns was obscene. We're gonna stay, yes. We've come this far, but now... Now you're the only one who can finish it. What? What do you mean? We've lost a vital piece of evidence, it's true, but if there's any clues left for us to use now... They must be in your head. In my head? You told me before that your powers of observation were one thing you could really depend on. Well, yes, that's true, but I didn't, mean, didn't manage to notice that this woman was a foreigner with a swan on her head. So think back again now and try to remember every last detail about the scene that day. Everything you saw, everything you felt, every color, every smell. What I saw, what I felt. Every color. Oh! It's Cosmo, right? Somewhere in the vibrant memory of the same scene in my head. Could there have been another clue to expose the identity of Dr. Wilson's killer? Actually, Kazuma, I think I might have something. Thinking back over everything I saw, I think I might have uncovered another clue. 
You've always have something up your sleeve, don't you, Yenosuke? Come on then, let's wipe that smug smile off that English woman's face with some evidence. Alright, I can't wait. It's been niggling me for a while that something feels amiss in my memories of that day. Whatever it get is could be the key to arriving at the truth about all of this. It's here somewhere. The clue that showed Dr. Wilson's killer must have been... The blood on the fucking tail. Take that! Inspector Hosanaga, answer me this. Yes? What is it? Uh, he's still miles away. Probably thinking about that bottle being smashed. As you said a number of times, now you strive for perfection in your investigations, don't you? Absolutely. I wonder, therefore, if perhaps you took anything else from the scene of the crime. Like, for instance, the plate of steak that you took to the victim's table that day. Wait a minute, where are you going with this? Okay, same question, but from Miss Brett, apparently. Where... Where are you going with this little boy? <laughs> it's just a memory that's been troubling me. What memory? I saw the scene shown in the photographic print with my own eyes that day. I saw that the wooden base of the plate and the steak that was served on was a splattering of blood. What? Oh, really? And what of it? Obviously, that must have happened when you shot the professor. No, that can't be the case. Take a good look at the photograph and the relative position of everything there. The plate of steak is almost directly behind the victim. If I'm supposed to have shot Dr. Wilson in the chest from the front, there's no way blood from the victim could have ended directly behind him. Unless they start to say it went through, but I already have evidence to refute that for the blood to have made it onto the plate. It implies that the plate was between the victim and the shooter. Which means the shooter must have been sitting opposite the professor as you were. Jezile Barrett? I beg your pardon. Speaking in Attention! This, this is beyond ridiculous. Fabricated nonsense. Is this court seriously expected to believe something the accused has apparently just remembered seeing? Oh, now you're sweating, huh, Miss Brick? This... This could be the moment that my entire career in the police force has been leading to. Inspector, you mean... Yes, I took the plate. In the interest of preserving evidence from the scene of the crime, I took it, mean and all, and I don't care if they call me a crime scene thief because of it. You did what? I took the steak that you had been eating, Miss Brett. I took the steak that, I, that the sergeant had been eating. And I did it all in the name of justice. You're bleeding from your mouth. <laughs> Wipe your face. Then we can't find out then we can find out for sure whether or not there's a blood stain on Miss Brett's plate. We must examine it now. I wonder if he didn't label which plate was which. But granted, there's no wound on the sergeant, so Spectre, the score wishes to examine the plate from the victim's table immediately. Yes, sir. Oh, you brought steak and all. Sorry for the delay. This is what- here's what you ordered. The steak. Well, what about the blood? Is there blood on it? Of course there isn't. Quickly, Inspector. The blood man. Show the court. There's him on the plate at your leisure. No. No blood. No blood anywhere. But that's 
Impossible. I know I saw it. I'm sure of it. It's right there on the table behind the professor. There was blood on the side of the plate. He took both of them. Did he bring both of them? Sure he didn't bring the sergeants. What an unbecoming expression, little boy. You see, this is why I always say you can't trust what the Japanese tell you. What the fuck, lady? Tis, I couldn't, couldn't agree more. You're Japanese, man. In this case, I'm just great. In this, the case is... In the case of this disgrace to the Empire. I believe we may finally have reached a conclusion in this trial. Let's hope so. This let's pretend attempt at the court proceedings is painful to watch. But I do promise to do my best to forget all the, about it when it's over. Huh. This sorry looking state reveals facts all too ooh, clearly. I'm sorry for looking the accused wishes to examine it again, be my guess. The plate of the state has been added turned into the court record. Uh, I think the plate I saw, or thought I saw, just a figment of my imagination. This is now? I've lost it. Rinosuke? It's not over yet. Not until the final. Oh, yeah, well. Hmm? Never stop believing in yourself. Keep looking forward no matter what. believe myself? Really? Hmm. Maybe I should at least examine the evidence for myself. Oh. What the? What in the world is this? I think it's a Koban coin. And the hallmark from the Hoi area, I believe. No, I don't mean, mean... What is it? I mean, what is he doing there? Wait, did you say it was a Hoei Koban? Yes, and apart from the meat juices, it looks to be in good condition. I imagine it's very valuable. This isn't the first time today there's been talk of a Hoei Koban. I've heard of pearls before swine, but I've never heard of bullion... Bullion before... I don't know how to pronounce those words differently. Good lord. I don't think you ever will again. This is extraordinary though. This means... I certainly never expected to find a precious coin underneath this thick cut of meat, and it's from the Hawaii era too. That would make it really quite valuable. It's well marinated and juices as well. Look, what are you thinking? of eating it? No, but next time I order steak, an expensive restaurant, one thing's for sure. My heart's gonna be racing as I lift up the meat to peer underneath for a prize. I think you might have gotten the wrong end of the stick about this Rinosuke. A Koban coin underneath the steak. There's only one logical explanation for this. The evidence requested by the defense has not been shown to be problematic in any way. I presume any further explanation of the evidence in this trial will be unnecessary. Does the defense have any objections? That bloodstain was going to be the cinch of the trial for me. Can this plate of steak reveal any other clues at all? There's another clue. Your Excellency, please wait. This plate of beef is hiding another clue. Another clue that will reveal the shocking truth. The only one thing that's shocking here is your unhealthy fascination with beef steak. Your Excellency, I think I made myself clear, haven't I? I will not be able to turn a blind eye anymore to this unnecessary procrastination in this trial. I'm sorry, Miss Barrett, but we must ensure a thorough examination of the evidence. I will not give ruling until I'm completely satisfied that a reasonable doubt has been dispelled. I see. As a newly affirmed ally in my country, that's still your position, is it? What, does England not believe innocent until proven guilty? Thank you, Your Excellency. 
counsel for the fence, you will now clearly show the court what you are eluding. Is a new clue to be found. Yeah, I got that part. No, I don't mean what it is. I hey, okay, are we... Wait. Yep, this is a little repeat of dialogue. But I already know that this is basically not the plate then. Gracious nets. Uh, uh, a cobalt? What on earth? A hoy era wanted that. Miss Barrett? This is, in fact, the beefsteak that you ordered at the restaurant on the day in question. Is that it? Tell me. Why is there an old coin seemingly hidden underneath the meat? What a ridiculous question. How should I know? I've never seen that thing before in my life. I don't know what this is, and I don't want... But I want no part of it. I fail to see how this is relevant. A coin underneath the meat? It could simply have been a careless mistake by the chef in the moment of distraction. Don't be absurd. We're supposed to believe that this has happened by accident in the kitchen? A rare hoey coban that just happens to be underneath that piece of steak. As it turn if this turns out to be irrelevant to the case, I'll rip up my ticket to the Great Britain right now. He's right, it can't be a coincidence. Your Excellency? Yes, Council. A rare Hoi Koban that just happened to be hidden underneath that piece of steak. If this turns out to be irrelevant to the case. I'll give my lawyer job right now. By all means, don't let us stop you. No one invited you anyway. <laughs> Perhaps, little boy, you should realize that this is who... It is you who is irrelevant. Even though I'm the one on trial here. <laughs> the point is, it's essential that we ask the owner of this coin if he can explain what it's doing under that stake. The owner? Yes, it's obviously that there's only one person it can belong to. The owner of the cobalt coin that was found on underneath is... who was rambling about it. Obviously, it can only be the antique stealer and the owner of the Rasute, Kiryo Okorekuk. Kiryo, is a Mr. Cucumber something? Honestly, these ridiculous Japanese names are quite unfathomable. The old man who testified earlier alongside the military sergeant, correct? Yes, Your Excellency. I remember him saying that he was up to something with his coban coin when it happened. At exactly the moment the gun was fired. <laughs> this is the Holy Era coban. Do you mean to tell me? No, no, no. Please, why would Kori Kutukan's coban be sandwiched between the victim's beast steak and it? Yes. It makes no sense. Which is why I'm asking you to bring Cory soon back to the witness stand so I, we can ask him. It's also not the wit- The victim's plate. It's fucking sergeants. Can we just jump ahead to that rather than asking the damn man? Bring both witnesses that testified earlier back in here. Without a moment's delay. No oh, good lord, there's gonna be four of them up there. I can't believe we come back around to that pair again. But I have a hunch, a strong hunch, that if we chase down the real significance of this Koban, 
We'll find the key element in this case. Really, it's just, dude needs to go get the other plate. He brought the wrong one. He brought the sergeants. 